Oh, hey, baby. Sorry for doing that. Noodle time. Yes. It's riquísimo. Gracias. Good morning, friends. Continuing on our gluttonous food tour here in LA in this series, we are doing something a little bit different this morning. I'm gonna take you around to five unique hidden food gems here throughout the city. Places in hidden plazas and secluded locations and areas that most people don't go to. Full disclosure, last night we filmed the Late Night Eats episode, so I'm very much looking forward to cuisine that doesn't involve chili cheese. And we're kicking things off in Little Thai Town. And fun fact, Little Thai Town is the only Thai specific designated district in the entire United States. And this is where we're gonna start off with breakfast boat noodles. Let's go. Jane, one of the owners here, they've been here for over 40 years in business. Yes. Family run and operated. Strictly Thai food, very, very authentic. Everybody comes for our boat noodles. It's still original from 40 years ago. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the famous Sop Coffee Shop Boat Noodles. So the last time I've had boat noodles, actually the only time I've had boat noodles, I was introduced to them by my friend Mark Weens. Many of you guys, if you're watching this food episode, probably already know him. We were in Bangkok filming some street food and he introduced me to some breakfast boat noodles. We have literally everything in here. We got meatballs, we got some tripe, we got some ends, we got some bits. These beautiful light noodles and fresh beef blood broth. Sorry, guy, I'm gonna steal one of your lines. That is capital flavor town right there. It's got a good kick. I only got medium spice. There's a bunch of really nice chilies here as well, different options that you can add to it. But the umami flavor, just rich, rich beef broth with that blood makes everything nice and thick and juicy. And these incredible noodles, a little bit of greens, just to keep yourself vivacious and healthy. So much flavor. Mm. And look at this. Pork rinds. One last dish we had to try. One more signature dish that they have here is the pad krapao, which is minced chicken or pork. I got the chicken and it is a ton of flavor with a fried egg and rice on the side. Look at this. Oh man. Mm. In this chicken, we got sweet chilies, you got hoisin sauce, oyster sauce. You have vinegar, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of MSG, and you take the rice, you take the fried egg, you put it all together with some sweet peppers and some Thai basil. The kick from the chilies and that sweet effervescence of the Thai basil, amazing flavor. Guys, come here. There's parking in the plaza. Have yourself a breakfast. You won't regret it. Oh. And our second location of the day is actually just a very short walk from our original spot. You go straight down Kingsley Drive off of Sunset and you get to another small, unsuspecting little plaza with a delicious sandwich shop from a whole new part of the world. Let me explain more inside. Welcome to Sahag's Pasturma. This is as mom and pop, as hidden gem, as deep inside the fabric of LA as it gets. And you come here for the Armenian sandwiches. A very beautiful panini style sandwich, hot pressed French bread with this pasturma. So this is a cured beef with pickles, tomatoes, and a little bit of seasoning as well. Very delicious. Yeah. Like a seasoned salami sandwich with really beautiful pickles and then pickled turnips as well olives and peppers what more can you ask for take a look over there this is it a little hole in the wall serving up grape sandwiches and the next one i got their other specialty here is a sojuk which is a beef sausage again pickles tomatoes what was the seasoning again rebecca Suma. 
sumach, a little bit of seasoning on top. Whoa. That sausage has such an earthy flavor to it. Combined with the pickles, and a little bit of freshness from the tomatoes and this great bread that's been grilled up. Oh man, delicious. Two really good sandwich choices. If you can find the place, you'll love it. And for my next stop, another very unsuspecting location, un lugar muy escondido. It's actually on a popular street of Sautel over near Santa Monica. I actually should come back and do a full episode right on Sautel. So many great spots, food spots here in the area. On the corner of Venice Boulevard and Sautel, however, is this unsuspecting little spot called Empanada's Place. For those of you who are new to me, Argentine food in Argentina was my first love. It was my first international trip and I fell in love with empanadas in particular and that kept the dream going. Let's go in and see. Right, here we go. I got the criolla or criosha for my porteños. This has green onions, egg, beef, and also raisins in it. A very traditional Argentine empanada with, of course, you have to get the chimichurri sauce. Look at that. You want coffee with the waiting? Oh, no, I'm good, thank you. Oh, man. That takes me all the way back. It's riquísimo. Si, gracias. This flaky dough, incredible beef, egg, green onion, chimichurri mixture with a little bit of sweetness from the raisins. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. One bite of this, and you think you know how to dance tango. See that just flaking off of there? I love it here. This is a traditional empanada and a true hidden gem location. Now, empanadas aren't cheap, but they're worth it. What a cool little homage to Argentina and in Buenos Aires. You have the tango dancers on the wall. They also do sandwiches, but I had to come for the empanada. Gracias. Ooh. Rocky just sent me a alfajore. Look at this. One of my absolute favorite things. Oh, look at the alfajore. I gotta try that right away. Oh. Huh. It has the dulce de leche on the inside. Empanadas y alfajores. This takes me all the way back. Such good memories, and it always starts with food. All right, and our next stop on this Hidden Gems hit list is up in San Gabriel, which I've actually never been up here before. It is a lovely little city. You can see the snow-covered mountains driving in, a very cool little downtown, very mission-style downtown. And this little spot is a recommendation from Jane from this Sap coffee shop over in Little Thailand. Based on the fact that it was her recommendation, I already know this place is gonna be good. So let's go inside here, this tiny little unsuspecting plaza, and go to the Golden Deli. Michael, Gareth, nice to meet you. Um, this dish would be the grilled chicken with the thin rice from Richelli. Okay. It's a bánh hoài gà nướng. Grilled plate. Yeah. All right. And then use the lettuce as a base. And then uh, the noodles first. Okay. A little bit of chicken. Next, take off some of the mint leaves. Mint leaves, beautiful. Bean sprouts, a slice of cucumber. Okay. And then you just roll it up from the bottom. Okay. Dip it in that fish sauce right there. Come in here. Yes. Going for it. Oh. If you want a little extra kick, yes, mm. you, uh, you put it in that sauce, right? You there. put it in yes. the sauce, in the fish sauce itself. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that is so good. And that is so light and fresh. Good chicken thighs with the mint and the bean spouts. Oh, it just feels like springtime. Oh, that is so good. And this is what you guys are famous for, right? The egg rolls. Egg rolls is what we're known for here. Okay. Yes. And then do the same thing. Same steps. A little um, bit of mint, cucumber. And bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. And what's inside of these egg rolls? Egg rolls are gonna be pork filling. Pork filling, okay. Wow. Oh, here we go. 
Mm. Wow. What are your mushrooms, vermicelli noodles, carrots, green onions, and a ton of pork? Wow. These are the most beautiful egg rolls I think I've ever seen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. You guys enjoy. Thank you so much. I mean, obviously, you have the traditional pho, which really great quality. Thinly sliced meat in there with a the ribeye. Look at this beauty. Oh man, a little bit of fat, but ooh. And again, the fresh veggies is what pulls it all together for me. You have this counterbalance of this incredibly fresh veggies, the spice from the chili sauce, and the vinegar, and the broth all coming together. This is great. Golden Deli in San Gabriel, it's worth the drive. Next stop on our hidden gems tour across Los Angeles. This is clear across Los Angeles. We are over, I believe, in the Hawthorne district, and this is right on Inglewood Avenue. It is Zamzam Market. And I'm told this is the place for some traditional Pakistani cuisine. Let's go inside and check it out. chicken kebabs, and then this beautiful biryani. You see what time it is? It's biryani time. We'll have a little bit of kebab there, some chicken, a little bit of biryani. And that kebab is so flavorful. And the biryani is light and fresh with big chunks of chicken in there. Mm, incredible seasoning. Ooh, that's spicy and delicious. Ooh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Tandoori? And this is the tandoori chicken. Wow. But that's the thing with LA. It's like 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes drive. You're in entirely different countries and different places. And this little unsuspecting place in the middle of nowhere in Los Angeles in a forgotten place, serves up incredible cuisine. Mm. And just like that, that does it for another episode from here in LA. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps a ton. And subscribe to this brand new Gareth Eats channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't seen the first two episodes from here in LA, late night eats and then an epic korea town food tour with a couple of subscribers go watch those now and also if you would comment let me know any other spots food spots that i should hit in la or anywhere around the world around the country around california i'll be filming a lot more food episodes coming soon in the meantime see you guys on the next one next video from here in los angeles next week i believe it's best burgers in la Stay tuned. Sweet, savory, fatty, soft, delicate, comforting, loving, caring, caressing, meaty. Feel secure and safe with this bra. I don't use this word a lot, but effervescent. <laughs> this tastes effervescent. A lot of love goes into these. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Pero tudo.